Hey everyone, Michelle here, the Brave Homeschooling Mama. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am a school teacher turned homeschool mom. I have two kids and I help new homeschooling parents by making videos about curriculum and day-to-day -day homeschool. Today I have my last review of the year as part of the homeschool review crew. Today I'm reviewing Elephant Learning. So if you're interested in finding out what Elephant Learning is and how you can use it with your child, make sure you stay tuned. So I receive Elephant Learning as an exchange for a review. I have Elephant Learning so I'll be able to use for a whole year with my child. Make sure when you're done watching this video, you check the description box for the link for the blog post for everyone. You can see everyone's video and blog, everyone that's reviewing this curriculum. So Elf, so all you don't know, I don't know if you have heard about Elephant Learning before. I'm gonna be looking out on my notes. Uh, Elephant Learning is an online math program. It's an online math program that if used correctly could improve a whole year of math for your child. It is a program that you do three times a week for 10 minutes. So your child will be doing this math program for 30 minutes a week, 10 minutes a day. So how this program works and then at the end of this I'm going to turn the camera around so you I can show you in the computer because it is an online program so I can show you you know how the program works and I can show you you know what 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 are you looking at when when you log in as as a child and as you know as a parent so at the beginning, when you start working on this program, it just gives you a, an assessment. So your child is going to be working on an assessment, and it's going to give them an elephant age. So the elephant age is the is the average age that the child from outside of the program is working on this, you know, specific skills. Okay, so that's the age that your child your child is going to be given an elephant age when they at the beginning when they start working on this program. So as the, as the, so your child works through this program, the you know, the intelligence of the program will show you exactly where your student is at. Once you the child is working, one of the important things about this program is the reports that you get. I know you know as a parent that you're able to read, and these reports are going to let you know exactly what your student is working on. Okay. By knowing and seeing the elephant age of your child, you will be able to know how they are progressing, and you also be and understand how they are doing in each of the of the different skills that they're working on and how they are progressing. Um, so the elephant age gets recalculated every time your child passes a milestone. That elephant age gets re, you know, re, recalculated. Okay, so you know every day you can see that, the, and I'll show you everything when I when I show the program. There's going to be a chart every when you. Log in, you can see you're gonna see a chart and it tells you where your child started and where your child is at. So we'll show you how old your child is, what their elephant age is, and how, and you'll see the graph how your child is progressing. Okay, so every time they pass a milestone, that elephant age gets recalculated. Okay. So my daughter, we started working, she she does have a learning disability in math. She's 13 years old. When she started working on this, she she got assessed and as elephant age of a 7.7 .7 year old. So that's where her math skills are right now. And right now is working through this. I think we started working through this in September. So right now she is in a nine point, I'll show you when we turn, you know, when I show the program. So it's a nine point something age, you know, elephant age. So she's progressing. Uh, slowly she's you know getting there I feel like if you look at the chart now you know, kind of in the last couple of weeks she's just kind of you know um, staying there don't know if she has less interest or she's having you know she was having some you know hard time with you know using some of you know um, working through some, some of the skills one of the things that I really like about this program like I said at the beginning uh, the lessons are short so there's 10 minutes only works of you know 30 minutes a week so if your child is working on a different curriculum this is something so simple that they can do I like that, and I will show you all this, that it gives you activities or things that you can do with your child outside of the program. I haven't been able to do any of these. I need to be a little bit more diligent about this to, to give you activities that you can do with your child at home, you know, so it gives you tons of activities and also has some worksheets that you can print out. Every, and I think not, not every day has a worksheet, but you can print out some worksheets to practice the skills that your child is, is working on on you know the program okay so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna turn the camera around so you can understand a little bit better what i'm saying or what i'm talking about so this is what it looks like when you log into elephant learning math academy uh your child and yourself are going to see the same screen okay so if you can see here 
This is uh, your your avatar. When your child is able to change the avatar, my daughter likes, likes tiger, so she picked a tiger. And you're able to pick and change the avatar that you want. Okay? And you also can change the voices of the person that's talking to you. Okay? Right here is where your step, your where your kid will start their work. So they will hit here. I'm going to do it really quick. And they can pick, you know, whatever theme they want for the day. They're still going to be working on the same um, scales, but they can pick whatever they want. So if that day you want to work on hedgehogs, you hit Best hedgehogs. Hop. Select three quarters of the hedgehog. And everything that they see is going, you know, for that day is going to be have to do with hedgehogs. Okay. Hello, Mia. Select 20% of the hedgehogs. So here on the side, you see uh, they're able to see the subjects that they are uh, working on. So you can see she's working to skip count to 20 in the line, introduction to language of percentages, introduction to equivalent fractions, fraction using collections, and fraction using areas. So all the activities that she's going to see here are, are, are right here on the side, which are the active subjects. So here is the main thing where you can, or the chart where you can see the elephant age. So this is the report. This is very important for this program. You are looking at the report for your child every single day and you can see how they have improved. So as you can see, my daughter is 13 years old. This is right here, 13.5. When she started working on this in September, she, her, when she did the assessment, she placed at an elephant age of 7.67 years old. And I have mentioned before that my daughter does have a disability in math. So as you can see, her progression throughout the months. Okay, but now she just kind of hit like a, I don't know if she hit a wall, but she just kind of staying, you know, the same for the last, you know, couple of weeks. So we, we need to work a little bit harder on those scales. But you can see she has improved from being on a 7.367 elephant age to now she's a 9.4. Okay, up here. So that's the overview. We can hit here playtime analysis and it tells you how long, how much she, she has played every day and for how many minutes uh, for weeks every day or every week. So average weekly, how much she played last week, max weekly, and this week, okay? And then you can also look here at the history. So it tells you either the event that she worked on, for example, on November 6th, uh, she worked on, you know, produce 60% or 80% using collections, and she failed that. But at the same day, she also worked and produced 20% or 40% using collection that she passed that, okay? So you can see everything that she has done. And you can go ahead and hit here and, and try. And you Good can try what, Select 60 whatever she hedgehog. worked on, you, you can try it. If she gets it wrong, she has another uh, chance to try it. And, and if, if she gets it wrong a second time, it skips to the next question, okay? So this is in the parent mode. You can try what they're doing. Uh, and it doesn't affect their elephant age or anything. It's just for you to have an idea of what they are um, working on. Okay? So let's go back. Hello, Mia. Okay. So here in the worksheet, sometimes the, the child will have a worksheet that you, you know, can, you know, print out. They say there's no worksheets available here. But the worksheets are for you to, for your child to work on the skills that they're working on that, you know, specific day. So let's go back here to the overview. I wanted to show you, so you, this is the, the elephant age, this is the chart every day, you know, depending on how they do, this elephant age will go up. So these are the things that she is working, you know, currently. This is the active, you know, curriculum. So you can see she's working on understanding fractions, understanding fraction using collections, introduction to the language of percentage, ski count to 20 in the line, and introduction to equivalent fractions. Okay. She has worked for 14.4 minutes in that specific scale, the average play time, how many, how many she has passed and how many she attempted, okay? So let's see, let's look at introduction to equivalent fractions, okay? So you can see this, she's doing okay. So it tells you it says green, she's doing great. Uh, yellow is okay. That kind of reddish just needs attention. This right here is pause and it, this is testing out. So let's look at introduction to equivalent fractions. And she says, it says, you know, 64%. This is the amount of play time she had, how many she has passed, and how many she has attempted, okay? 
And if you go in here, if you hit this so here, here, this one, you can go to the bottom and it tells you what, what Mia is working on. It gives you the things that she's working on. You can click it Good afternoon. and you can try the Select activity for her, the okay? You can try one fourth of the ladybugs. Wonderful. Wonderful. Fractions have many names. We will use a different name for one quarter. What fraction of the ladybugs is selected? Okay, so it's two out of eight. Wonderful. Wonderful. One okay. quarter and two So this is where your child is looking at. You can go try fraction. it to see how, you know, what, what are they working on. And it's not going to affect your score or anything. Okay. It gives you here what I think that she's working on. Activities. And then in the bottom here is activities that you can try with your child. I haven't been, I mentioned this uh, in the video, that I haven't been very diligent about this. But you can go ahead and you can try activities you know, not in the computer, so it gives you things to do where you can find all these things. It gives you, you know, you can do fraction, concentration, equivalent fraction, you know, game. It tells you, you know, how to, you know, get it together, how to find fraction dominoes. So those are all the things that your child can work on, okay? And then that's it. Then you have here the dashboard, your child, the two kids. Right now, only my daughter's using it. You can manage your account, about help. You can, you know, if you have any questions about, you know, how the program works and log out. So it's very simple. This is what you look at every day. It's really you know easy for your for you to read. One of the things that I like it is how easy it is to read. You get here every day. You can see the chart. You can see how your child has improved because every day it will adjust the elephant age depending on how your child does. And you can see how what you no know, percent of the of this you know they have worked on. So you can see she has only worked five percent out of the understanding fractions using areas. She has worked twenty seven percent out of this. She had work, you know, 96% out of that, you know, introduction to, to you know, percentages. As so you can see on all this section, this is, you know, the percent of how, how much they have worked in, in, those, um, in those skills. And you can see that she's doing okay in all this activities. If this was on red, it would be that she needs more attention. Thank you so much for watching. After you're done watching this video, make sure you check the description box below up so you can see everyone, uh, everyone's review that's reviewing this math curriculum from Elephant Learning. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't follow me on Facebook and Instagram, make sure you do so for more inspiration and motivation. I will see you soon.